one, now it's time to finish part two. <sighs> Number five goes to a boss battle from Chain of Memories. Now, I like Chain of Memories. It's a good it's a good game, and I think it has a really good story. But, man, it's boss fights suck. There are only, like, three really good bosses in the game, in my opinion. Those being Marluxia, Lexius, and Vec... No, not the Vexion. But, unfortunately, it has some boss bad bosses. Like, for example... Yep, Vexen sucks as a boss battle. Now, I like him in terms of his character, like Demix, but man, is his boss battle just awful. Seriously. Now, Vexen only has, like, a couple attacks. Most of his attacks consist of shooting an ice, you know, an ice thing that's kind of easy to avoid, and his freeze attack, which is basically the most easiest attack to avoid. Seriously, you just gotta wait and then roll over the last second. But then, there's his worst attack. You see, in the first fight we have against him, and his main, his like finisher is like his desperation attack is the ice pillar. Now this may seem like oh one one I just fly over it, right? Perfectly simple, right? If that were the case, you see while you're flying you slowly descend down, so that means that you could get hit by this, and if you're on and if you're cornered into a and if you're cornered into a corner, well you're screwed, basically. Basically. And also, I just love how after you defeat him, after Hollow Bastion, you have to fight him again five minutes later in Twilight Town. Gee, isn't that fun? This time his desperation move is Ice Shatter. Now you're probably wondering, well, why not I just block the attack? Well, that's another problem. You see, here's a major problem with Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. You can't block attacks. So that means you're going to have to take it like a man and practically lose the battle. And trust me, I have gone insane over this battle. And also, you want to know another bad thing about this battle? Donald. Now, here's the thing. Donald in this game only uses four magics, and they are completely random. Them. And guess what? If he uses Blizzard, you can access, you can heal him. And why don't you use three level nine Donald cards into a slate, and they all shoot with ice? That means Vexen will gain back several health, much health. That is bullcrap in my opinion. It is really bad in my opinion. Vexen, while I like you in terms of personality, your boss battle infuriates me in order to no end. More than Lark Scene's battle ever did. <sighs> anyway, let's move on. Okay, final bosses in Kingdom Hearts are usually really cool. Xemnas is awesome, Master Xehanort was awesome, Terranor was awesome. But unfortunately, there is one really bad boss in Kingdom Hearts. Which is it? See, darkness is the heart's true. Wait, what the hell? I love the battle against Ansem from Kingdom Hearts 1. Doctor Strange, you got the wrong clip. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I was practicing magic and uh, you said Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, so I thought you thought the first boss from the first game. Sorry about that. Is this the right clip you wanted, Sean? If you are to serve me again. That's more like it. Thank you, Doctor Strange, for getting it right this time. Yes, it's not Ansem from Kingdom Hearts 1. It's Ansem from Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. This boss could have been so awesome. Think about it. Imagine a final boss where you fight as Ansem, where you fight Ansem when you're playing as Riku. That would have been great, but unfortunately, this boss battle is not good. Now, I get it. It's a final boss and it's supposed to be hard. But man, this is. But like, here's the thing. With Xemnas and Xehanort, when I died, I actually felt like, okay, that was my fault. But with this game, with this boss, I'm like, oh, you got to do this in the game. Why do I hate this final boss? <sighs> Still. But here's the major problem, mainly due to the limitations you have for playing as Riku, since for the fact that you only have a pre that you have a preset deck, you can't edit your deck, and also the fact that you can't heal unless you get a Mickey card. But seeing how this is a final boss, you'll probably use a lot of slates. Now it makes sure that you can't heal as Mickey. So that means you're basically screwed and his and his attacks hit like a truck. That is not good in my opinion. That really bothers me, since it could have been an amazing final boss. But still, hey, at least there's a good Ansem fight in Kingdom Hearts 1. The final boss against him, no, the battle against him in Dream Drop Distance was okay, in my opinion. But still, let's just move on to number 3. Wait a minute. Another boss from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories? What could it be this time? What could be worse than this boss in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories? Your nest of memories are always in the way. Sora! Oh, gee. A boss where you fight him multiple times, times and he almost uses the exact same strategy. Or gee, he's annoying. Good to know, Square Enix. You made a boss battle that I hate more than life. It itself. This entire battle is just annoying. Mainly the fact that you fight him multiple times throughout the game, 
and you're just like, oh my god, really, this boss again, oh my god. It's only like the number two entry shares, but seriously. Also, let's not forget to defend the leg with Ansem. His attacks are brutal, and then you'll most likely get you down to zero faster than you can say, oh shit. Seriously, this battle is just annoying and it's not fun at all. Especially when you're playing as Riku when you go into dark mode. Seriously, half the time I was like, oh my god, which Riku is, am I playing as? That's not fun in my opinion, and it's just terrible. But still, well, I mean, there's no way any other boss in this list can be this bad, right? Let's see what the number two entry is. What's the number two, huh? The Keyblade shouldn't stay broken like this. Join me now. We can complete the Keyblade! Oh gee, another boss on this list that you fight multiple times. Oh boy, Vanitas. Now, I like Vanitas as a villain. He's really cool. And his boss, Battle and Kingdom Hearts 3, is actually really fun. Especially how much satisfying it is to lay a smackdown on that sucker. But oh boy, his battles in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep suck. Let's start off with Terra. Right, here's the thing. When you play as Terra, you are slow and Terra relies mostly on uh, melee combat. So basically, he is faster than Sonic the Hedgehog and he can knock you out silly. Really, that's a problem. But to be fair, at least um, Master Xehanort was at least being sparingly enough to be all like, Vanitas, take care of Aqua and, and Ven. And that is actually merciful. So I'm not gonna lie. But also, this is another problem when you find him as Aqua. You see, here's the thing. In, in Aqua's story at the Keyblade Graveyard, he has the key, the X-Blade. He has the most powerful Keyblade in the universe. And oh boy, does it show. Since his attacks are powerful, he's annoyingly quick, and he has powerful spells. This battle is just annoying unless you have Thunder Surge, which you probably will since Thunder Surge is the most broken ability in the series, along with Balloon Spells. And then you fight him as Ven Ventus. And oh boy, he's just bad. Now I'll fully admit, the boss battle against him when you're playing as Ventus is the most is the most easiest since Vin Ventus is the most, like, Sora. But still, especially when you're in his final phase, when you finally find him as the last time as Ventus, where it gets even more annoying, since he has an, an unbroken keyblade, but basically the x play is broken and he needs to fix it. But here's what happens. You see, when you finally manage to get him down to 1 HP, what happens? You, means you have to perform a D-Link, and you have to get the timing just right, or else you're screwed. You're done, and it will result in an instant game over, and you're screwed. Man, do I hate this battle against Vanitas. At least in Kingdom Hearts 3, his battle is actually fun. And, okay, I think we've talked about the worst battles in Kingdom Hearts history. There can't be any boss battle in the series worse than this, right, Doctor Strange? Uh, Sean, you're forgetting that you're at number two. There's still one boss left to go. Look, I know you hate the number one entry a lot, but still, you have to talk about him. You're only at number two, so it's time to finish up this dang list. Now, you excuse me, I'm going to bed. I'm not going to discuss this with you any further. Peace. No, you don't mean that, boss. Anything about that boss? No! I hate that boss! Fine. In number one, what could be the worst boss in Kingdom Hearts history for me? What could possibly be worse than annoying attacks, X, unblockable attacks, pretty much anything from the Anselm, Riku Replica, and Vanitas bosses? What could be worse than all of those combined? Well, I'm gonna play the clip right now, and you probably know who number one is if you play Dream Drop Distance. Screw this boss! This is one of the worst bosses I've ever fought in a video game. This boss can burn in the fires of hell! <sighs> Gotta calm down. Gotta calm down. Anyway, number one goes to young Xehanort from Dream Drop Distance! This boss! Oh boy, where do I begin with this boss? Well, you know what? Since I want to be fair for all you people who actually like this abomination of a boss fight in video games, games let's look at the one positive of this battle. The one good thing about this battle. Adel, the music. That is the only thing stopping this battle from... This is the worst... The, like, seriously, the music is the only good thing about this battle entirely. If you're a person who likes the Young Xehanort battle, congratulations. You, I respect your opinion. You are allowed to like this boss. I'm not saying you should not like it. I hate this battle, but if you think this is a good boss battle, good to you, good for you. You, you can like whatever you like as long as it's not Steven Universe. But still, well, this battle is just terrible in almost every conceivable way. 
Well, let's start off with why he's most annoying. Well, first off, he barely flinches. Second off, his attacks are so fast that he is like more than a PK fire spammer. Second off, his attacks, like seriously, he has an attack that is a homing shot that will make you go slower than in the entirety of a turtle. Seriously, this battle is just annoying and he has an instant KO move. Move. Also, did I forget the fact that he has an, a, that he always spans attacks faster than a PK fire spammer? And also, when you finally think you beat this wretched boss, look what happens. No, I'm not joking. Seriously, in order to beat this guy, you have to perform a rally shift. If you don't perform the rally shift at the exact time, he will rewind the battle, gain back a third of his health, and it's frankly annoying. Also, did I forget to mention that he moves at the speed of supersonic and can teleport anywhere around the room and kick your emo butt on a silver platter? Yeah, I forgot to mention that because of how angry and how pissed off this boss makes me feel. <sighs> I need to calm down. Calm down. Hmm? Also, if you're able to perform the rally shift, you're still not over. You have to destroy the clock again, except this time his clones will bomb rush you and pretty much take you down faster than oh shit. Seriously, this is one of the worst designed bosses in a video game I've ever seen. And you want to know the most insulting part? He isn't the final boss. I get it that he's supposed to be the penultimate boss, and I get it penultimate bosses are supposed to be hard. But let's look at some other penultimate bosses in the series. Like, Kingdom Hearts 1 had Chernabog, and while that boss was hard, it was at least challenging. Like, Psyx from Kingdom Hearts 2, it was hard but challenging. This battle is just annoyingly hard. I hate this battle, I hate this battle, and I hate this boss. Also, what's even more insulting is that the true final boss, Arm Ventus Nightmare, is pathetically easy. This pisses me off the most about this battle. I hate young Xehanort. He is one of the worst bosses I've ever fought in a video game, and I cannot, and I do not see why people actually enjoy this battle. What is there to like about it? It is terribly designed, it's annoying, and overall makes me want to destroy my controller. I like Dream Dog Distance, but man, there were several points in this battle where I wanted to snap my controller like how Thanos did to half the universe. <sighs> well, that does it for this list. And you know what? Maybe we'll talk about some good bosses. I'm out. See you all later. It's like we're going to enjoy my misery and darkness. Bye. Screw your young Zagnort.